Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to give you a sketchbook tour of this sketchbook that I have filled up very recently. In fact, two days ago at the Asia Link sketchwalk that happened in Taichung, in Taiwan. So this is the Stillman and Byrne Delta series sketchbook. This one is the soft cover version. So it has rounded corners. This is a bit more compact compared to the hard cover because the hard cover is slightly larger and the cover is a bit thicker. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, before that, let me show you the tools that I brought to Asia Link. This is the watercolor palette that I brought. This is called the Portable Painter. These are the water trays that you can attach to the sides. I just want to show you the colors that I used. So for this particular trip, I used a lot of French ultramarine and cerulean blue, a little bit of lemon yellow, some new gamboge, a bit more sap green, and plenty of burnt sienna, a tiny bit of red. These are the two pens that I brought along. This is the Uniball Signal DX. I want to use them up so that I can throw them away and switch back to using my fountain pen. So this has a bit of ink left in it. This is the fine point, which has a line that is thicker compared to this Uniball Signal 0.5. This still has quite a lot of ink left. Now, while using the roller ballpoint pen, I really feel that I was drawing really loosely because the roller ball point, they are so smooth and so slippery on the paper. So if you have problems uh, making your sketch look loose, maybe you can try roller ballpoint pens. And this is the collapsible watercolor brush that I brought. The brand is Wild Plane. This is size 12. The label has worn off. The hair is still long, but it's a bit difficult to get a sharp point because the hair is starting to become blunt. And now let's take a look at the sketches I have in this sketchbook. This is the first sketch drawn on 21st of March 2017. So I started this sketchbook more than one and a half years ago. I cannot remember how many pages there are in this sketchbook, but uh, it took me a very long time to fill up this sketchbook. I actually intended this sketchbook to be a travel log sketchbook that is filled with all travel sketches, but I wasn't able to go to so many countries, so um, it took me several trips to fill up the book. So this building here, this is the Independence Palace in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City. I was there in March with my wife. This sketch was actually drawn with the help of a reference photo. I did not draw on location during that trip. It was a really hot day and very difficult to find a good position to sketch this building without being under the sun. I cannot remember the colors that I used but most likely it's French ultramarine because of the granulation. I think this might be yellow ochre, sap green, lemon yellow. I'm not sure about the red though. So with French ultramarine, you can get really um, dark colors, colors that are close to black. For this particular effect on the ground, I think the wash was still wet and then I used tissue to dab onto the wash to create this textured look. Or maybe I made a mistake and had to clean up. Anyway, um, some of these sketches I have created tutorials for them, like full length tutorials that I'm selling on Gumroad. So this particular series of sketches, um, I have tutorials for them. And this is the second sketch. I like this a lot because it really is a bit exciting to draw cityscapes, to draw so many buildings from a view that not many people would draw from because it's difficult to find places that are really high up above ground to draw. So this was drawn, I think, at one of the um, viewing towers or viewing buildings. Observatory deck, I think. I cannot remember the name of the exact building. And that's one good reason to write down the name of the place that you draw from. 
kind of challenging uh, to draw that sketch but this was also drawn with the help of a reference photo it would be difficult to draw this um, on location this is a tank that's located at the independence palace This is Bantam Market, 5th of April 2017. I used mixed media for this. I used color pencils, I used colored ink pens and watercolor. Drawn from photo as well. This is the Notre Dame of Ho Chi Minh City. Now this sketchbook, this Stillman and Burn Delta series sketchbook is able to handle watercolor uh, quite uh, nicely. Wet on wet techniques is still a bit challenging but um, generally speaking I enjoyed using watercolor on this sketchbook. The colors are, are able to appear really vibrant. It doesn't dull down the intensity at all. This is the Saigon Central Post Office. This is the city hall, drawn with pencil. I didn't like this as much, so I redrew it again. The shapes are not very defined. So you see um, some of these uh, windows, the shapes should be more precise. Here's another sketch I, that I redid. I think the color selection is slightly different. So with pen and ink, you can see that uh, you can see the shapes more clearly. Without pen and ink, you really have to rely on watercolor to bring those uh, shapes, to make those shapes more obvious. So for example, this is like a trapezium. The corners of this shape, it should be sharp, but right now they are rounded so um, not that obvious here even though the corners of the watercolor shape is not that sharp it still has that ink line to help the viewer uh, know that this is a trapezium this is saigon opera house i use soda light genuine that's the name of the watercolor paint from daniel smith it has a really good texture in it and I use this particular paint to do a tonal study and I really like the contrast because this paint uh, it can be very dark, close to black and when you dilute it, it appears something like this you can get uh, a lot of beautiful textures this is a food stall on the sidewalk of Ho Chi Minh City Pen and ink with red, with red watercolor paint. And I remember this particular sketch as well. Even though I did not draw it on location, I, I'm still able to uh, remember this particular sketch because there was a lady who was carrying her disabled son around. Her disabled son has a deformed head. Basically, the head is two times the normal size of other people. So it was something that I remembered and it was captured in my photograph as well this is a crab, a steam crab that I ate with my wife at the the food court there it's really delicious and it's very affordable compared to Singapore prices so all these sketches um, yeah, all the sketches from the first few pages all drawn with reference photo. I think one of the advantages of drawing with reference photo is um, you can enjoy your trip and come back and do the homework later on. You have more time to work on the sketches. But the downside is you cannot really absorb the atmosphere, the experience while you are sketching on location. And here, these are some sketches uh, from Taiwan. 
I visited Taiwan with my wife and her relatives in May or is it in June? No, or is it in April? I, I cannot remember. Anyway, the uh, following sketches were also drawn with reference photos. So these are not considered urban sketches. If you are posting your sketches on urban sketches, Facebook pages, or their website, their blogs, it has to fulfill the cr criteria of having drawn on location. So these are not considered being drawn on location. This is a temple, a Chinese temple, CU temple. This is a shopping street in Taipei. I think this is in Taipei as well. I wrote down the name of the temple, but I did not write down the name of the address. This is mixed media as well, colored ink pens with watercolor. By the way, some of the tutorials that I have created for these sketches, they are also available on my Patreon page. So if you are a patron, you can look back into the archive to find these tutorials. This is Jiufen Old Street, which I believe is quite close to Taipei. So this is a shopping street. This is a very old shopping street that has a lot of atmosphere. And this is, let's see what this is. Oh, this is the packing list of, the, of my recent trip to Taichung, Taiwan. So for most of my packing, so most, for most of my sketching trips, I would draw the packing list. Well, except for the Vietnam one and the Taiwan one, the previous Taiwan one, because those were not exactly sketching trips. This is a sketch in Singapore. This was drawn on location at Robertson Key. 30 September 2017, 30th of September. So this was drawn later. I left these two pages blank because there is this little gap here. Um, actually, it's quite a big gap. If I were to draw a spread like this, the gap would have interfered with my drawing. So I decided to draw something that doesn't uh, require me to draw across the two pages and packing list like this is uh, is suitable so now the Stillman and Burn Delta series paper you can still achieve some wet on wet techniques but not as good compared to 100% cotton paper but still achievable you just have to be a bit more careful the colors will not spread as softly compared to cotton 100% cotton paper but it will still spread slightly this, so this is the first sketch that I drew in Taichung during the Asia Link sketch walk. This is of the old Taichung train station. This was drawn on the 3rd of October 2018. So I left this sketchbook, uh, I did not use this sketchbook for a year. The last sketch was, oh, the last sketch was on the 30th of September. So. Yeah, I left this sketchbook for more than one year without touching it and then I uh, took this out. We have several designs for this Urban Sketches Singapore stamp that we always bring along for such international trips. This is a pretty challenging scene to draw because there are a lot of details and it's almost backlit, so the only areas where there is light is this area here and this area here and this area here. But um, if you take a look at this sketch, it's not very clear where the light is coming from and where the dark shadows are. Actually, this part here below it should be covered in black. Anyway, I shall leave this as it is so as not to mess it up. Sometimes the more corrections you do, the worse you will make your sketch. This is the Taiwan Museum of Sun Cake. 
Now the boss of this building is actually one of the sponsors for the Asia Link Sketch Walk in Taichung. This is a beautiful building that has a lot of history. As I mentioned in the travelog videos, the sun cake is one of the most famous food items in Taichung. It originated in Taichung. So this is another stamp. This is the other design that we have. You can learn more about the history of the sun cake in this museum and you can buy the food there as well, packaged in very beautiful boxes. All the sketches that I drew in Taichung were drawn on location. After all this, um, that was a sketching trip. This is me drawing the sketches, sketching from opposite the Sun Cake Museum. This part here is actually in shade, so it should be a bit darker, but I did not color this part well enough. Another Chinese temple, very challenging to draw because there are so many details. Um, it might be, it would have been better if I had used a thicker line. I brought with me two pens, one is a thin line and one is the thicker line. I used a thin line for this particular sketch. So when you use a thin line, the watercolor would have to pick up the slack. But if you use a thicker line, then there will be more contrast with the lines. People will be able to see the shapes from the lines more clearly. But that's not the case here because I use a thin line. Chinese temples are very difficult to draw because there are so many details. And the shapes, there are a lot of curves, a lot of uh, creatures, um, decorations really challenging this is not like those uh, cathedral or uh, you know those castles where there are many where there are more angular lines and design the architecture but for chinese temples a lot of curves a lot of sculptures a lot of design i think the same applies to indian temples as well this is taichung park the oldest park in taichung This is the Taiwan Prefecture Hall. This was drawn really um, loosely because the, the roller ballpoint pen it was really slippery on the paper. So if you want to have more control, the roller ballpoint pen is not the best tool to use. You can use pencil and you can have more control over the roller ball. And the ships here again, not. I think I got some of the perspective lines uh, wrong. It's not that obvious. Yeah. So when you're drawing on location versus drawing, well, from the help of a reference photo, the sketches will look a bit looser. If you're just drawing from reference photo at home, you have the luxury of drawing a bit slower because you are in a more comfortable environment but when you're drawing a location there is the weather to deal with and sometimes when you're drawing with a group there there is there's a time limit you have to finish your sketch within a certain amount of time before you go for the group photo so uh, there are different considerations you have to make when drawing a location versus drawing from a reference photo this is taichung second market So for the blues here, you see um, some of these blues, they are cerulean blue. The green is sap green mixed with ultramarine. For the darker areas, I use burnt sienna. So I use a lot of ultramarine and cerulean blue. This is one of the street sketch. Um, very muddy because I used too much color and I didn't know which uh, focal point I should um, create so it's uh, sort of a wishy-washy decision and I used too much watercolor in the end now drawing buildings in Taichung is pretty challenging because 
For this particular sketch, there are a lot of signboards. Some of the signboards are bright in color, some are not bright in color. Some of the signboards are in sunlight, some are in shade. Some parts of the buildings are in sunlight, some in shade. And the buildings, they are of different colors. So the play of light and shadow, light and dark, it's very challenging. So it's so you really do need to spend a bit more time to think about this sketch. I think the best way is probably to maybe create a thumbnail of the drawing first, a black and white tonal study thumbnail first before diving into using actual colors. Here uh, I did not do that, uh, that um, did not do a good job. So it's very difficult to make out what this is. But even if I'm not able to um, make out what this is, or even if you cannot uh, see what this street scene is about, because I drew on location, I will be able to remember this scene because I drew it with my friends. This is the Taichung World Flora Exposition. So we were brought to this place which was still under construction. We were not able to take any photographs or make any videos because um, the flowers that you see here in this sketch they are not up yet so they still have one month to prepare before the flora expo opens in november 2018. anyway we only had one hour to sketch that on, on that location so it was really a rush This is the Holy Horse Ranch. So after the Flora Expo, we walked all the way to this horse ranch. Um, this is just one of the many buildings in the horse ranch. The racing course is somewhere else. And the stables where the horses were, they were somewhere else. A lot of sketches were sketching around. A few sketches were seated here under the two tents here. So for this particular sketch, I use cerulean blue for the sky, sap green, lemon yellow, French ultramarine, French ultramarine and burnt sienna. I think those are the colors that I use. Oh, for this green here, this is phthalo green, yellow shade. So this green is a bit brighter, a bit cooler compared to the greens that I use for the trees, which is mostly sap green. So this is the last sketch that I drew in Taichung. I drew this on the cover. The cover is using the same paper as the pages, so not a problem. So yeah, I'm going to leave the first and two pages blank. Alright, so that's it for my sketchbook tour. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.